Hey, welcome to Just Garden Farming DIY. Do I need to introduce myself? Yes, I am Will, it's your boy, and today we're just going to farm. Um, we are in my poultry house right now, and um, uh, I thought I'd give you an update, uh, backstory, a little backstory, and uh, what's basically happening on my poultry um, farm right now. Um, so, I initially started this poultry um, farm with about 16 chicks. It was only to keep me busy. Um, it turned out that I'm actually enjoying the um, uh, busy keeping with 16 um, birds. So I decided to add um, 30 more to it. So the 30 um, additional chicks I bought, I decided to buy them um, and raise them for their meat and sell them for their meat. But it turned out that 20 of them were hens and the rest were roosters. So um, that business was... Yeah, so the meat production business um, failed before it even started with um, only um, 10 roosters. But um, it could have been um, a, a lucky accident because I realized that um, egg production for me um, is more profitable than the meat production. For now, I think that from on, a, on a smaller scale, I would prefer um, raising hens for their meat rather than, oh, sorry. I would prefer raising hens for their um, eggs rather than the meat. So um, yeah, I kept the 20, sold um, the 10 um, roosters and the 20 um, hens. You can see them here, um, well at least some of them, um, they're still here. Um, I think I only lost one. Um, and so I decided to keep them for the eggs and they've been producing eggs for um, God knows how long, but um, that wasn't enough for me. So that wasn't enough for me. So I thought, what's the next step in my poultry farming? And the next step for me was um, try and hatch my own um, eggs. Um, initially, what I did was I um, collected the eggs and um, gave it to um, what to call it. Uh, broody um, hens, um, which were the local hens. Um, these um, Plymouth um, Rock, they are rarely broody. Sometimes they do get broody, but not all the time. And um, when they get broody, it only goes on for a week or two and then they just give up and um, they may end up wasting the eggs. So I give the eggs to um, local hens, which are usually always broody and um, they hatched. Um, these are the ones um, that were hatched by the um, local broody um, hens. Um, it, was, it was interesting, but I also realized it wasn't um, efficient enough because you could put um, 10 eggs down and you only get like two chicks out of it. Um, so I went on YouTube where today you get everything, every information you need. Um, and I decided to learn how to um, build my own homemade um, incubator, egg incubator. Um, I did and I was successful. Uh, my first batch of um, um, eggs that were incubated and hatched were these ones. As you can see them behind me. These were the first ever hatched um, eggs that um, were hatched using my homemade incubators. I got about 24 out of, I don't know, about 170 eggs. Um, that is a different story. <laughs> and then um, I tried again, and this time I got about 60. These are the second batch of um, hatched chicken on my farm. So I hatched them using my own um, homemade incubator. I got about 60 and these are about six weeks old now and then <laughs> so it just went on and on and with every um, hatch I got more and more now I'm heading towards about 300 um, birds 
um, from about 70 birds or so I'm heading towards 300 I already have about um, 400 eggs in the incubator right now and today I'm going to be loading the incubator again and um, um, it's my biggest load yet because I'm going to be putting in about um, 13 to 14 crates um, of eggs now one crate contains 30 eggs so 30 multiplied by 13 you know how many eggs that's going to be and so it's going to be my biggest load yet and I'm taking a huge risk with this one because I've harvested them for a much longer period. I usually hatch, um, harvest my eggs um, four or five days and then I hatch them. But this time I've um, um, harvested the eggs for about two weeks. And the longer you wait to um, incubate your eggs, the more they lose their fertility. But I'm experimenting because if I didn't experiment, then this would not be um, the right channel for you. I, this is for me, it's all about innovative, sustainable farming. It's all about innovative, sustainable farming. So I experiment, I try to experiment as much as I can to see what works for me uh, or what works better. So today, um, the update is I'm going to be loading my homemade incubator um, with eggs um, from my own poultry farm. Um, unfortunately the incubator is bigger than the eggs that I can um, harvest myself so I have had to go to my friend to get some more eggs so if you're wondering how we get our um, fertile eggs um, these are the male that crosses the female to give us fertile eggs um, what we do is um, we, we release <laughs> So what, we, what we've done here on the farm is we've separated the male from the female, so, which is the roosters from the hens. And um, we know when they are very sexually active, which is um, early in the morning from 4 a.m. Which is early in the morning from 4 a.m. Um, to about 8 or 9 a.m. Um, That's when they are very um, sexually active. And then in the evening from 4 p.m. to about 6 p.m. is when they get active so we release them around those times and then we um, let them back into their cages um, separately so that the female will have <coughs> so that the female will have time to um, feed and um, lay eggs if you mix them all the time what you're going to have is the roosters um, climbing the hen so many times um, that the egg production will reduce so I wouldn't recommend mixing your roosters with your hands 24-7 um, if you are looking to increase the <coughs> if you are looking to increase your egg production capacity so let me introduce you to my egg incubator homemade egg incubator one and two um, this is the first one I made um, which is made out of a cotton box and this is the second one I made which is made out of um, wood and I will be making a third one which is the final one um, there will be videos on all of them so don't worry so this one has an egg capacity of about 200 um, this has an egg capacity of about um, three to five hundred depending on the size of the eggs and currently the temperature is very high, so I'll turn it off. So we're loading the big incubator today. These eggs are from my friend's farm.
so that was very tiring um, the incubator room is very very hot and um, I just finished um, loading um, the incubator um, as you can see here um, it's fully loaded and um, it's going to take about 21 days um, for the eggs to turn into um, chicks and hatch um, if you ask me how many chicks I'm, um, chicks I'm expecting I would say 420 because that's how many eggs we put into the incubator but because of um, lights or power outages in Ghana um, I tend to lose a lot of eggs um, so yeah sometimes I could put in 300 eggs and only hatch about 40 because um, um, the eggs would have died or the embryo would die in their first weeks because of um, um, power outages. Alright, so that's it for today. Thank you for watching. I'll see you again in about 21 days um, when the eggs are hatching.